I cannot believe this is happening. Why? So, I don't know if you know what lilies look like. If you don't get them planted in time and you don't store them in a cold, dark spot. But I'll show you. This is what they look like. Oh my gosh. Oh dear Lord. I had a few snap. If they snap off, will they still bloom? <laughs> We've talked about the refrigerator issue, right? So I currently have a situation. Refrigerator shortage. Refrigerator number one. Refrigerator situation number two is stuff full of tulips and uh, lilies. Drinks and oh yeah, lilies. I ran out of room in refrigerator. So when these came in, I put a few by few, I mean a whole bag's worth, into my daughter's bedroom closet because I thought it'd be cold and dark and it would stop this. It did not stop this. We're gonna go ahead and plant these. Hope for the best. I now have room, so I uh, I stored the bag with the rest of these, even though they're like this, into a refrigerator. Dave Dowling knew what he talked about when he said, don't order lilies if you don't have a refrigerator. He wasn't just talking about harvesting. He made bulb storage as well. Oh my gosh. Let's get these planted. So I use my auger to plant lily bulbs and to plant bulbs in general. This is my power planter auger. I used to try to buy cheap augers off Amazon, but this thing, oh my gosh, it works. It works in hard clay. This is amazing. When I had my daffodil breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> This is what saved me. So if you don't have a good auger, highly recommend Power Planter Augers. I have an affiliate link down in the description where you can order yours off Amazon. Would not trade this for anything. I may actually order more of these. Love it. And my camera might fall over. The wind. It works. At least on the bright side, the first ones that I planted, they ended up growing underneath the landscape fabric and I had to like fish them out and some of the necks broke off. This one, no fishing them out of the landscape fabric because they're obvious where they're at. <laughs> you know, we learn a great many things as we flower farm and it's all good. It's all good. They may get scorched by the sun. I don't know. I'm making these mistakes that you don't have to. I'd really like to go inside now. I just got done planting 75 lilies into the ground and moving rock to secure my sunflowers. I was really hoping the rain would hold off until tomorrow morning, but the way this wind is going and how dark it is, I don't know if I can wait. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest. Now I'm going to crash when I get inside. It better rain tomorrow morning or I'm gonna be mad that I didn't wait. I deserve a cookie. Just saying, I deserve a cookie for powering through this. I just deserve a cookie. The storm, luckily it looks like it really missed a house. The kids' school had a bunch of trees come down, possible tornado there. But overall, the farm looks good and the weeds flourishing. So time to harvest more daffodils. We've got market this Saturday. So as y'all can tell, I already have a weed problem. <laughs> We're just now in spring and I don't know if I'm gonna grow these for an The netting this year is just getting stuck on them. So the heads are coming off. Next year, I may do a uh, electric fence around the bulb bed as well. That's what I may end up doing. And then put landscape fabric down and cover this. I'm wanting to grow basil and deer resistant filler here. So I may go ahead, when these start to wane, cover it with plastic, kill these weeds back again. So something else that I'm doing this year, which I kind of started doing last year, is I'm releasing bugs into my garden. Last year, I ordered green laced wing insects and they really helped with my aphid problem and leaf hopper issue. They really helped with the leaf hopper issue I had, but they didn't help with the flea beetle. This year, I was able to secure some ladybugs. So I got green lace wing insect eggs and ladybugs. So ladybugs can actually stay good in the refrigerator for like two weeks. I ordered these off Amazon. I normally like to go through Arbico Organics. However, they're always out of ladybugs. But, uh, these guys have been in my refrigerator since last week and I'm just going to open this up. It's dusk. It's wet outside. They 
advise putting them out during the evening or early, early morning and to have the plants kind of moist. Since we had that huge storm roll through, this is a perfect time to release these. And I'm just releasing them at the base of my plants. And if there's a good food population, these ladybugs will lay eggs and they will eat all my aphids for me. I'm hoping to prevent aphids before I have an aphid problem by getting these out. And they may all fly away, who knows? <laughs> they did include this good bug versus bad bug, ladybugs and grace winged insects versus aphids, mealybugs, thrips, and other soft bodied insects. Uh, I did a two releases. So last week I did a release and then I released the rest of them this week. And they also tell you how many of these good bugs you need to battle the bad bugs depending on your square footage and acreage which is really nice to me i'm probably probably not going to bring this box inside now that i've released bugs because i kind of see i'm crawling on it uh the bugs did say secure in this but uh i don't want ladybugs on my house good morning my loves so what have you said you'd like to see some of my seedlings? So let's go through real quick what's going on. This is spotted bee balm or labata, whatever you want to call it, that the gifted tomato had sent me. I just need to separate and pot up. It's looking pretty good though. Started it February 27th. It, it really needs to be potted up. <laughs> These are my zinnias that I planted this past weekend so they're only a few days old but they're coming up they're a little dry a little dry need to add some water pretty good germination on all of them though i planted one to two little seeds into each little cell right here is gum frina look um it's germinating they're tiny they're tiny but they're coming this area is snapdragons, so I might have over sowed these a little bit. Got a little too happy with putting seeds out. This is where I try to thin them out, and thus this little section right here where they're getting nice and happy. They're like, oh, hey, we can stretch. And then we have some straw flower, and my amaranth is doing great. Once again, really dry. Oh no, that one's moist. We're moist and we're dry. I don't know what we are. And then we have my Cosmos and they're doing great. All of them came up. What? What is going on with this one row? <laughs> ah, Rubenzia. This row is an old, old seed. It's like two years old, so that explains that one. But the rest, the rest are doing great. And then the seed room is just a complete disaster right now. Um, there's no time to clean. I've lost my Falcos. I don't know where I put them. They're probably sitting somewhere out here in the yard. Tomorrow I'm going to market. I have so much to do. I really need to be harvesting flowers. I need to be washing buckets. And I need to be planting more lilies. Speaking of lilies, once I find my clippers, I'll give you an update on how my poor lilies that were growing inside the uh, refrigerator and stuff, how they're looking after being in the sun. But first, I have to find my clipper. You know, they're red. They're red. You'd think they would stand out. Can't find anything. A pair of scissors in there. Some hole punchers. Ooh, I got money. And something. And a wire nut thing. <sighs> All very unhelpful. I found my clippers. They're in the box that I put up here to keep safe when the rain came. Mystery solved! I hid them from myself. The anemones are starting to slow down. Maybe time to see if I can pull them and save the corms for next year. Maybe they'll bloom even better if I do that. And uh, cover this bed up with plastic and let the weeds die back and then uh, plant some new stuff. There you go. All the flowers from tonight. No telling how many bugs are crawling on me right now. Look how beautiful they are. So pretty. Do I want to kill all the ranunculus? It's so hard to when you look at them like this. All the ranunculus and the anemones. But then you look at them like that. And it's like, I don't like them. But I like these. 
Let me throw these in water and then I gotta go harvest daffodils. So the lilies that looked horrendous are starting to turn green. So we have white with green tinge. Maybe they'll color up. Maybe they'll be fine. Uh, I did learn something from our Facebook group that I follow that if you do snap off this part by accident, you can still plant the bulb. It just won't flower. You'll have to wait till next year to get a flower, but you can still plant it and save it for next year if you're willing to do that. Uh, I personally, I'm like, you know what? I will just buy more. It'll be okay. But it's good to know that the bulb's not a total loss if that happens. Before we get to today's I Hate Washing Buckets song, let me give you some helpful advice. One question I get a lot is, Jesse, where do you get these buckets? Glad you asked. These buckets came from a grocery store florist and I got them for free. I'll get to you how to do that in just a minute. These buckets came from Sam's. I paid $60 for 24 of them, I think. And these lovely buckets, which I love to harvest sunflowers in, came from Johnny Select Seeds. Now, when you're asking your local florist for their buckets, beware, they may turn you down. Best bet is to go to a grocery store that sells flowers and do not speak to the store manager. They will not help you. If you speak directly to the florist, call and ask, hey, can I talk to the florist? And tell her what you are and why you want the buckets. She will gladly give them to you. But are they really free? They come with a cost. The florist will often stack the buckets up and if you stick wet buckets together, you cannot get them unstuck. So, two buckets are stuck together, which means I only got one bucket because I cannot get these apart. So never stack wet buckets. Let's get to today's I Hate Washing Buckets song. Today's song brought to you by Washing Buckets. It's the worst tour of flower farming. From the same person who brought you I Hate Washing Buckets and I Cannot Lie. <laughs> I don't want to wash these buckets, but I got to if I want to go to market. And now I can't stack these buckets, or they're going to stay together and break. Fun fact, we think the electric fence works, but we're not 100% sure. So we used a meter, a special meter. We put it on the fence and it shows that it's got a pulse, but my pug walked under the fence and his tail caught it and nothing happened. So it's like, is it really on? Is it really working? The meter says, you know, it's got something. Maybe Gus is just, maybe it just hit the fur and didn't actually get his tail and make good contact. Either way, none of us are brave enough to walk up and touch the wire and see for ourselves. But the deer haven't eaten anything, knock on wood. So I guess it's working. So we got cleaned up and got all the flowers out here on the counter. And I realized I still had some in their fridge and a different refrigerator. I was like, well, let me get it. I picked up this cup and listen, can you hear it? It, it feels really hard and stiff. And I picked up the flowers and this is what I discovered. It's an ice. That is ice. What? <laughs> I, really? Really, Jesse? You gotta freeze your flowers now. <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a sign to once again be lazy and um, I'm gonna go to bed and I will see you in the morning. I'm gonna let these flowers uh, thaw out. Are these not gorgeous? Um, I don't know what everything is because I've been harvesting them, you know, closed. So I'm kind of letting them open up in here a little bit. And uh, I probably need to take some out and put them in smaller cups like this. You know, this without ice. <laughs> and uh, sort them in the morning. And that also, these really long stemmed ones like this, I can put those in bouquet bundles. So, fun note, I tried my best to get the ladybugs off these flowers, but apparently they've been in the fridge, just chilling with the flowers, and now they're everywhere. So me and my husband have been grabbing ladybugs and grabbing them and taking them outside, because I'm like, I paid for these bugs, we have to save the bugs. 
never thought I'd be grabbing ladybugs and carrying them out of my house at 9 o'clock at night. Farm life. What you gonna do? You ready to go outside? You ready to get them deer? I'm gonna tell them get out of my garden. Oh, she's ready. Alright. Go, Costly. Go get them. And Pug, too. Get them, Gus. Do you know it's a sign if you haven't had enough coffee yet? It's when you've been sitting here talking to the camera and making arrangements and then realized we're well, not recording. True story, I've been talking to you for like a good hour. It wasn't recording. That means I need, I need more coffee. Some of the things we were talking about while we were not recording is daffodils. Little Rhett says you need to cut them and let the sap drain for at least an hour before putting them in an arrangement. Like me, it's kind of hard to know what the size you need to be before putting them in an arrangement. Florette says the sap from the daffodil will cause other flowers to wilt. That's why you need to cut them, let them drain an hour before. You have other people like Laura Gardner, who says, I've never had an issue. They do fine with other flowers. They don't cause other flowers to wilt. Um, I've done both ways. Both ways have been fine. There is one flower that you can pair them with that they do really well, and that would be Dutch irises. These are supposed to be red Dutch irises, they're white, but they do well with daffodils. The sap from the daffodil actually helps this one live longer. Who knew? So FYI, now you know. And I'm doing about five daffodils with five more expensive flowers. Daffodils I sell for about a dollar each. Then you have to, you know, account for the jar, the price of the jar. All the other flowers are two to three dollars each. They don't know it, but those Dutch irises are just gonna open up and it's gonna look beautiful. Dutch irises, you kinda need to harvest around this stage, the pencil stage, before they open. They'll last longer. And your customer gets to enjoy them blooming inside the jar. I'm trying to work on old jar arrangements before I go putting together actual bouquets. I've got about 30 minutes to an hour before I load up. parked the car and got it unloaded. I am late as usual. I've got maybe 40 minutes to get my table completely set up, banner up, and be ready for market. <laughs> oh, one of these days maybe I'll be on time and won't be rushing like a crazy person. <sighs> Didn't bring the kids with me this time, so it's me on my own, which means it's going to take a little bit longer. Should have made one of the kids come with me. Oh well, wish me luck. Got a lot of flowers here. They don't look like much because I don't have a lot of filler to go with them. So we're going to hope that we have good sales today. Uh, a lot of it's going to be customer education of, hey, even though these are closed, they're going to open up and bloom for you. I've got maybe 20 more minutes. I'm going to try and shoot out as many bouquets and mason jars as I can before we actually start selling. I'll update you when we're done. I hope you don't mind if I say that I love you.
Cause there's so many ways that I want to Carve out our names Board a last minute plane, just us two We can chase the sun as it sets in the mountains Find luck like a bet in Greek fountains Or lay lazy in bed with your head on my chest I hope you don't mind If I say that I love you Every day another I do Cause you know can hear every note that my heart sings Like a choir of bells, how they all ring I hope you are all enjoying the small preview of what my Rustin Farmers Market has to offer. I love being a vendor there and interacting with my community. I did really well in sales this week. Still haven't hit that $1,000 mark, but you know what? We're getting closer. This week, I sold $760 worth of flowers. Still ended up taking about $200 worth to the nursing home, but that's okay. That's the most I've sold at market, I think, this time. And I had no sales for work this week, so it was all market sales. We're going to get there. I have a feeling once I start showing up with summer flowers like zinnias and sunflowers, I can easily hit that mark. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.